As you may or may not know, your wood-burning brick oven is the most versatile type of cooking you could find. Anything you can do in a conventional oven inside your kitchen or outside on a grill can be done in a Chicago brick oven. What I'm going to do today is take my favorite recipe that I've used for grilling or roasting of a white hen and I'm going to place it in our brick oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. The way I choose to prep my birds is to start with a little olive oil inside the cavity. So I basically just pick it up and squirt it in there and I'm going to rub it around give it a nice coating all inside the cavity. Next what I like to do is take fresh thyme and actually just use it um, the whole sprig if you will and I'll put about oh five or six of these sprigs inside the uh, cavity rubbing it around inside giving it a nice coating. This is going to allow the flavors to emanate from the inside out. So I'll put a couple more in here. Okay. Once that is done, I'm going to take my olive oil again and coat the outside of the bird. All over. Give it a turn. Give it a nice rub. Okay. And then what I have done here, I keep on hand inside my kitchen and outside and barbecue my own dry rub that uh, it's a recipe I've had for years. You can buy any kind of poultry dry rub, even meat dry rub at your local barbecue store or butcher. And basically what I do is coat, give it a nice coating all the way around, give it a little rub in as you do with a good dry rub. And once we have this bird nice and rubbed down with the, the dry rub, she's ready to go for the Chicago Brick Oven. Once you're done with your high temperature cooking, you can do other forms of roasting and baking at lower temperatures. Right now our oven is about 450 degrees and I'm going to brown the chicken that we have in our stoneware. And then we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna bake it the rest of the way through. You want to make sure when using any kind of cookware that you let it get room temperature prior to putting it on your, your very hot heart. Now you can see that our chicken is to a golden brown. I'm just going to add the lid, push it back to the middle of the heart. In about 45 minutes to an hour, your chicken will be done. Okay, let's see. Our bird's been cooking for just about an hour now, so we should be just about done. Let's take a look. There we go. As you recall, we left the lid on the pot. That'll afford the juices and the steam to cook it thoroughly and keep it nice and moist. When removing the lid, always open the lid away from your face so that the steam does not hit you directly on face. Look at that golden bird. Listen to that sizzle. And this chicken is just falling off the bone. Delicious. Holy. I told you. I always told you that that's the Oh my god. Come on. Try that.